Good morning, first graders. It's time for math review. Let's go ahead and get started. You will need your whiteboard and marker. Okay, let's warm up playing our let's make a 10. When I roll the dice, you're gonna tell me the other partner to 10. Here we go. One and make 10. Well done, friend. Did you say nine? Mm-hmm, one and nine make 10. Two, two and make 10. Did you say eight? It was eight. Here we go, last one. Five, five and make 10. Nice work, five and five make 10. All aboard, shall we? <laughs> I can show a number in many ways. I can solve addition and subtraction problems. I can identify a true or false number sentence. Here we go. Our number of the day is 41. I'm going to set a timer for five minutes to go ahead, friends, and show a number bond, draw 41, and label tens and ones. If you have extra time, go ahead and write a number sentence to build the number 41. Here we go. Go ahead, mathematicians. Okay friends, I'm going to pause my timer up here. If you need time, more time, please pause your video because I'm going to show you my answer now. Here we go. 41. 40 and one make 41. And then I drew four sticks of 10. Remember there's 10 ones in each one of those sticks of 10. And one one. Four tens and one one makes 41. We're gonna do our review race now. If you know four and two make, then you know 14 and two make, 24 and two make, and 34 and two. Ready, set, review race. Go and see if you can solve all of these different number sentences. Use a simple number fact to help you solve bigger and bigger and bigger number sentences. Here we go, first graders. Nice work. Check your work with mine. Do you see the pattern? All right, we are going to solve 16 takeaway nine. I'm going to model this one right now because I know that it's been a little bit since we've done our take from 10 strategy or our counting on. So here we go. If I want to use my counting on, I'd start with my part and I'd count up to my whole. But because I know my tens, I can take pretty big hops. So I know that nine and one make 10, and then to get to my whole, I need six more hops. So it was a total of seven hops between nine to get me to 16. If I wanted to do my take from 10, I'd have 16, 
and I'd break it up into tens and ones. There's six ones and 16. Now, some of my friends, you can just do a number fact, or if you need to, you can draw a picture with your 10 ones. Sorry, your 10, your 10 ones that make up your 10, and then your six ones. And you're gonna take nine away. I know that 10 take away nine is one. So I have to put those extra ones left over. I have a total of one plus six ones, and now a total of seven ones left over. 16 take away nine is seven. Look, you could have done either strategy to support you. Now let's go back here, now that we did a little bit of review, and go ahead and solve 16 take away nine. Here we go, friends. Okay, friend, if you need some more time, please press pause now. Remember, 16 take away 9 is 7. All right, let's solve 13 take away 9. You can choose to do the take from 10 strategy, or maybe you want to do counting on, or maybe you have a more efficient strategy. Go ahead and solve. Great work. I see you're being really careful in checking your work. All right, if you need more time, pause. If you're ready to compare answers, let's compare. 13 take away nine is four. You can see that I did the counting on strategy here, and then I also did my take from 10. You don't have to do both strategies. Choose which one feels better for you. Now let's solve 21 plus 30. Here we go, mathematicians. Okay friends, if you need more time, pause your video. If not, Let's compare answers. Okay, I have 21, and I'm adding three more tens. So let me see how many tens I have in all. 20 plus 30 makes 50. Don't forget about that extra one over here. So 50 and one make 51. So 21 and 30 make 51. Fantastic, take a picture of your work. <laughs> Say, I'm doing great work. Now let's solve 11 plus seven. You got it, you got it. Go first grade, go first grade. Do you see a number sentence in there that's a simple number sentence to help you solve? I do, I see it. Okay, let's compare answers. So I have 11, which is 110 and 11. And I'm adding seven more ones. So I have to write a number sentence. One and seven make eight. I've added my ones together. Don't forget about that 10. 10 and eight make 18. So 11 plus seven is 18. Good work. Shooting star. Choo! <laughs> Great. All right, let's take a look at 40 take away 10. Here we go, we're on a roll, friends. Keep it up. Okay, let's compare. I have 40, I'm taking 110 away, 30. I bet many of you were able to do that quick in your head. 10 less than 40 is 30. 
All right, we are now gonna solve, is this true or is this false? Remember, for something to be true, it needs to be balanced or equivalent. For something, if something's false, unbalanced. Not true, not the same answer. So remember, you need to solve six, 13 take away six, and then solve five plus two. See if they're equal to the same answer. And you're off. Go ahead, friends. Try using the take from 10 or the counting on strategy to solve 13 take away six, okay? Okay, friend, if you need more time, pause the video now. I'm going to compare answers. This is true because both sides equal seven. You can see here I did my counting on strategy. Six and four make 10. Three more gets me to 13. And so it was a total of seven hops that I needed to get to 13. And then I know automatically in my head, five and two make seven. So this number sentence is true because they both have the same answer. They both equal seven. True. Now friends, don't forget to do your assignment on my path. Keep practicing. Go ahead, mathematicians. We did such a great job today in math. Let's do the roller coaster um, chair. Ready? Woo! -woo, -woo. Nice job. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.